Boach, just as far as your bullpen goes tonight with using those five guys last night, anybody unavailable to you tonight? I would say John Gray I would stay away from. He may pick catch out there and say he's good to go, but he's uh, the one guy I would say. Uh, we will check on all of them. Uh, the normal thing we do is they go out there and they, they uh, play toss and they'll let us know, uh, especially uh, with LeClerc. He went two innings, so uh, we'll check on him. It's obvious we'd love to stay away from him, but he may say he's good to go, and he'll be honest with us. He'll, he'll say, I, I need a day if he needs it. Other questions for Bruce? I'll go to Barry here. Hey, having not been around the earlier rounds, what's the story with your use of hedges that he was in, put in the position last night in the tenth inning to take his first at bat in the in the, in the postseason? What's the uh, hedges? Yeah, what about him hitting? Yeah, you hadn't used him. I haven't been around, but yeah, yeah, no, he's um, he's here because of what happened last night. Um, Jonah got on time run uh, late in the ball game. You do what you can to tie the game, and uh, he's our third catcher, so um, that's why he he went back there. And there's two outs there. He's up, but he's one that's been doing the bulk of the catching uh, as far as backing up Jonah going in late in the ball game. Mitch has not been back there for over a month, so that's why he hit. What's going on? Mitch is hurt that he, no, he hasn't no. been able to catch? No, 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 Mitch isn't hurt. He's playing. Uh, he just hasn't been back there. So, you know, we were comfortable with uh, Hedgy uh, taking over behind the plate, and there were two outs, and it's a risk versus reward. So he hit. He's not a – yeah, he didn't get a hit, but he has a – He's capable of getting a hit, so, you know, yeah. yeah. I'm going to Tim right up front here. Uh, Bruce, this seems like a game where Chapman might need to pitch for you. With all he's been through, what would you say your level of confidence is in him right now? He's one of our guys. That's my, my level of confidence uh, with him. He's he's one of our high leverage guys, uh, seventh, eighth, ninth inning. Uh, he could go multiple innings. He's already said that. He knows uh, what time of year it is. And so, you know, he, uh, I brought him in uh, some other games uh, this postseason, and he'll continue to go out there to help us out. You can't just have one or two guys. You know, you you need a third and fourth guy to help you out in those uh, situations. Stefan, up front to your left, Bruce. Coach, how much, if any, did the running game of alter Nathan or the rest of your staff did it, did it knock them out of their games in any way? No, I, I don't think so. I thought Nate actually did a pretty good job of not being overly concerned about their running game. We know they're going to run. They're they're athletic. They're quick. That's a big part of their game. But you don't want to get to the point of dimension return where you're focused on the runner, and then you end up compounding the damage by making a mistake up there. So I, I don't think Nate was letting that happen. Standing back left, Jared. Hi, over here. <laughs> in this era when there's so much data and so much information, how do you explain how a player like Adolis could just sort of get overlooked by everybody in the in industry for as long as he did before you know, coming out the way he has? Well, there's a lot of great stories in this game and players that, you know, clubs – didn't have a spot for them, or, you know, they get outrighted, whatever. It's, I think you look on both teams, you'll probably find some guys. Uh, so it's hard to say when a player is going to come into his own or mature as a baseball player. And, and he's certainly one of them. And, you know, we're lucky to have him. And you go back and, you know, he's still trying to find his way with uh, the Texas Rangers. And he became available. And thank goodness, uh, you know, we – we were able to keep them, so it's it's hard to explain. You're you're asking a question that uh, I'm sure a lot of clubs, uh, including us, look at certain players that went on and did great. Uh, some, some things. Uh, are, it's probably what makes baseball so great. You don't know, and I t even players that aren't drafted. I mean, we got a Hall of Famer, Mike Piazza. What are you going to 
around 60 something. So you just don't know. Go to the second row, Sean. So Scherzer is probable for game three. Um, how, you know, he's made be his third start since the IL. How is he pretty much fully stretched out at this point in terms of innings? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, he, uh, he could give us length. You know, I've talked to him about this. Uh, he's comfortable, you know, pretty much throwing like he normally does. Maybe not quite as long as uh, he's been over 100 pitches, whatever, but pretty close. Got two more. Steven on your left. Boach, obviously, I know you weren't here last year with Jonah, but you know the workload that he ended up carrying at the end of last year kind of unexpectedly. What have you seen from him this year and how he's prepared himself to be ready for this continual work that he's had to do here and in getting into I'm the sorry, country? who? On Jonah. Just oh, on, Jonah? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, you know, he went on the IL, so, you know, he got some rest then, unfortunately. Uh, but, um, you know, every year you learn from. And I'm sure last year that's – that's something uh, he's he's learned how to you know prepare in certain ways, whether it's conditioning uh, in the off season, during the season, uh, diet things, whatever it is, uh, just taking care of yourself so you can handle the workload that you know the club is looking for you to, to handle. You know whether it's catch 120 games, 140 games. So, um, and I think he's done a great job of that. You watch him now; he he looks great. I think and. So, you know, that's only going to get better with them. I'll finish up five rows back in the middle. Can you talk about what stood out to you most about Evan Carter's game, especially considering how few games he had coming into the postseason? I say more than anything is his poise. He just – see, a great composure uh, up there at the plate, uh, out in left field, his age, and, you know, be on this stage um, and – it's not a big deal to him. He's not in awe of anything. We've said he plays with no fear. He just, he's just a special kid, I think, that's going to have a tremendous career. I, I mean, he's only going to get better on all facets of the game, but more importantly is uh, the makeup of, of the kid. He's got that mental toughness he loves. Boach, thanks so much. Okay.